A solar-charged, battery-powered robot is changing the way Queensland farmers tackle weeds, showing increasing resistance to common herbicides. Using state-of-the-art cameras, the AgBot detects, classifies and exterminates all on its own. It looks like it should be scanning for signs of life on Mars. But this rover is on a mission to destroy at a Bundaberg farm. The AgBot 2 can find and kill weeds without humans having to lift a finger. This being a prototype, there's still a bit of work to do, but I'm very, um, I, I think this is the way of the future. Designed to work autonomously, AgBot decides how it will exterminate the weed. It can use a chemical agent, a thermal method or its mechanical plough. The machine's developers hope this will reduce the cost of physical labour while tackling the threat of herbicide resistant weeds. The robot can run with the batteries for about eight hours and then comes into the port, docks automatically and then recharges the batteries um, using solar energy. It's no terminator, but the amount of money this robot could save the farming sector is truly intimidating. $1.3 billion a year. The state government has already invested $3 million into AgBot. With a $70,000 price tag, it's now investigating how the weed killer can become commercially viable. New technology is uh, brought to us constantly and uh, we follow the changes as they go. Just imagine what AgBot 3 will do. Dominic Hansdale, ABC News.